guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Ashley, if you are new. And if you are new, please go ahead and stop what you're doing. Do me a quick favor, hit that subscribe button as well as that notifications bell so that you and I can become acquainted and so we can do things like this on the regular. So I'm actually coming in today with a kind of a requested video. And um, a couple of people, well, some of you guys may know um, if you are not new to my channel that I am an absolute lover of fragrance girl not only am i a lover of like fragrances for the body but i'm also a lover of like home fragrances even car fragrances girl for that matter so i love things that smell good and a couple of people ask me because they see that i post like my scent of the day every day or they might see me um talk about a different fragrance like on my in my vlogs some people have asked me to do a fragrance collection video and um i'm here to oblige now, I wouldn't necessarily say that I am a collector because I would say prior to 2020, before the pandemic, I had a signature scent girl and that was Flower Bomb. And you cannot tell me that Flower Bomb was not the best thing since sliced bread and it just really smelled good on me. And I would just love Flower Bomb. And I still love Flower Bomb to this day, but because of the pandemic and during that time frame, I became more and more addicted to YouTube girl. And um, uh, during that YouTube addiction process, I became acquainted with more fragrances. And because of that, I have accumulated quite a few fragrances over the past, we'll say three or four years. So not a collector, I'm nothing, I'm nowhere like, like a Keiko Beauty or like a AI The Great or Sheree's Lifestyle, I think it's her name, or Simply Aisha. Nowhere on that level, but I definitely have accumulated quite a few fragrances that I absolutely love and I want to share that with you guys today. So I do want to start by saying, like I said, my collection is um, a fraction of the other fragrance girlies collections like your Jackiana, etc. Um, however, I do want to put a disclaimer out there and say that this is not a bragging video, but if you follow my, if you are, if you, if you rock with me, I don't even have to give you that disclaimer. You already know that that is not my style, but with all that being said, I do want to share my my small fragrance collection with you guys. And I am going to show you how I have a display. So I'm going to take you actually into my closet where I have all my fragrances at. So hopefully you guys are, um, hopefully that view is uh, acceptable. But with all that being said, girl, let's get into the fragrance collection video. Okay, you guys. So like I said, I am going to bring you guys into my actual closet which is where I kind of have this. I'm not even going to scroll down because it's not the cleanest in here. We're giving it to you raw and uncut. So hopefully some of y'all understand that. I'm sure you do. But um, yeah, I did not clean none of this up. This is how it's already displayed. So just bear with me and understand that. Um, what did Erica Badu say at the beginning of the Tyrone video back in the day or her per live performance? She said, I'm an artist, so I'm sensitive about my shit. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily say that I'm an artist, but I, what I will say is that uh, whatever like i said if you rock with me i don't even have to give you a disclaimer this is a raw and uncut fragrance collection video um so let's go ahead and get into it this is live and in action from my actual closet so i have this kind of like um what is this like a six cube uh bookshelf from target a lot of people have it so um just that and i just have all my fragrances kind of sitting on top of that and right next to it is kind of like my winter coats <laughs> and then up here are my necklaces but listen let's get into this thing so let's start off with let's start off over here from the i guess we'll go from left to right so the first fragrance i have to show share with you guys is you know what let's start with the zara fragrances zara is the girl for not only the clothes but also for inexpensive really good smell good so the first fragrance i'm going to share with you guys is this zara fragrance which is unusual fruit i found out about this by watching our everybody's favorite monroe Steele. she had this i want to say a year or two ago and she talked about it often and i want to say this fragrance is like 24 dollars or something like that but it smells really good as you can see there is quite the dent in this here fragrance she's probably half gone so i absolutely love this and like i said i found out about this via monroe steel hopefully we can keep this moving and we ain't got to give a story about each individual fragrance girl because i found out about that fragrance i also um, i'm a gourmand girly so i also picked up unusual gourmand which is also a zara fragrance so i figured i'd try this out and as you can see there is quite the dent in that as well 
this makes me want to move on to my last Zara fragrance, which is all the girlies' favorites. I want to say the girl Kyra is the one that put all the girls on this, but this is Ebony Wood, so I also got this from Zara. Not a huge dent in this particular fragrance. I'm not the biggest fan of this because it's very masculine in my opinion, but I do like to mix it in the wintertime with different things. Um, some things that are just a little bit sweeter. So that is my third and last Zara fragrance. And moving right along, I guess we'll go from left to right. The next fragrance is one of my absolute favorites. This is in my top five, and this is Ati Prave. I know I always butcher the name, but this is a Louis, my one and only Louis Vuitton fragrance. And I picked this up when I was in Paris, and I got it heat stamped when I came over back over to the States or back over to Atlanta, Georgia, baby. And I love this. And as you can see, she has a little bit of a dent, and she's only been here since like the end of September. Moving right along, one of my other favorites, she's in the top five, and this is Angel Share by Killian. Y'all, you, look at the dent. You see the dent. I just love this um, this bottle. It just looks like, um, like a glass of cognac or something like that. It's just super sexy, and if you are not new to my channel, then you heard me talk about that in Access, so we won't even continue that conversation. But to know her is to love her, and this is Angel Share by Killian. Moving right along. Oh, you know what? I have one more Zara fragrance. And actually, I got this in Paris too. So this is True Amour. This is the smaller bottle. And um, the girl Kyra, again, put everybody onto this. And this is basically a Delina by Parfums de Marley, the original Delina. This is basically the dupe for that. And there is quite the dent. And I picked this up in Paris for like 18 euro, girl. So you couldn't beat that. Moving right along. <laughs> the next fragrance is going to be my second favorite victor and raw fragrance which is bonbon bon. for whatever reason the girlies do not talk a lot about bonbon bon, but i absolutely love it this is the 1.7 fluid ounce bottle you can see there is quite the dent and this is probably like my second or third bottle since the inception of this fragrance so highly recommend it like i said it's not very popular but it smells amazing so if you smelled it please comment down below let me know next up is a odie but goodie y'all when i say odie but goodie you see this is a vera wang fragrance and this is princess this is so nostalgic for me because i got hip to this when i went to new york for the first time back in like 2004 girl so 20 years ago is when i got hip to this fragrance i was in Saks, the Saks fifth avenue on fifth avenue and if you know they have an amazing beauty counter beauty section fragrance section i think it's on the first floor or used to be back in the day and i fell in love with this fragrance and that like i said that was 20 years ago so this bottle isn't 20 years old this bottle is probably like Ooh, six seven eight nine ten years old or something like that but i don't wear it often even though there is pretty much nothing left in this bottle but um it just brings so much nostalgia and so much like it just makes me it makes my heart smile because of the memory of me going to new york for the first time moving right along <laughs> the next up is going to be replica jazz club girl you see that dent <laughs> i definitely got this in 2020 um like at the start of the pandemic i love this fragrance it is very much a masculine scent but it's still sexy and soft enough for a girl so i absolutely love this and this is one of my favorite if not my most favorite replica scent and your man can wear it too girl so why not <laughs> moving right along my used to be absolute favorite this was actually gifted to me by one of my friends shout out to you um she knows who she is um she actually gave this to me so this is kind of like my sample like my smaller bottle of victor and raw flower bomb this is used to be my all-time favorite perfume of all time and i say that to say like i said earlier of course that was gonna happen girl so this bottle is like the one or the 1.7 fluid ounce bottle this is the five ounce bottle i've probably had this girl i don't even know how you see how much bigger she is but um so i've had this for so long like even before the pandemic and um like i said that used to be my favorite perfume of all time so i would always keep her and then my friend because she knows that i absolutely love this she gifted this to me so this is my baby bottle and i love her and i think she's so cute and i love that flower bomb is like um the way that you can it has like all these different like facets on it so you can kind of sit it different ways 
I just think that's super cute. Um, but yeah, so Flower Bomb is up next. <laughs> and then, of course, like I said, that's my five ounce bottle of Flower Bomb. I hope this view is not horrible to y'all, but you know, I'm doing the best I can, girl. <laughs> Moving right along. So next up is going to be Valentino Born in Roma. She has quite the dupe, I mean, quite the dent as well. And this is the 3.4, the 3.4 fluid ounce bottle. Love this. This is again Valentino Born in Roma, I think is the name of it. But we love her, and I picked her up during um, 2020 as well. Moving right along. <laughs> Next up is going to be Saint Laurent or YSL Lieb. I would still be wanting to say Libre girl, but this is the Eau de Toilette, and um, I rarely wear her. I probably have worn this one time, so not too much to say about that, but the girlies love her, so, you know, if you love her, yeah, she's she's cool. She's just not my favorite. Next up is one of my absolute favorites, and this is Burberry Her, which is like a Baccarat strawberry sweeter dupe love her and you can see that the dent suggests that she is very loved next up is going to be affection love by latafa this smells amazing this is an absolute dupe for kaylee young pistachio she doesn't have the best long long lasting um ness about her she definitely does not last very long but she's like 40 50 dollars so you can't beat that and she smells amazing and she's great for spring summer so highly recommend it next up we have one of my absolute all-time favorites to know her is to love her or to hate her because some people hate her because she is a very much a baby girl fragrance but i love her and she's sweet and she's sassy and she's a little sexy but not overly sexy and that is pink sugar by i think it's aquilino love her as you can see she probably has the biggest dent out of all the girlies and i will always keep this in my collection because she just has a special place in my heart and she's really sweet and i just think she's a cutie i think almost every girl has that in their collection or has had it in their collection what's next let's go into parfums de marley so <laughs> I told y'all that Flower Bomb used to be my absolute all-time favorite fragrance. She has been replaced by the girl, the prettiest girl of all, and that is the Beyonce of fragrances, and that is Delina Exclusive. Not Delina, not Delina Regular, not Delina La Rose, Delina Exclusive. This girl, <laughs> there's nobody who can, I don't see... You put your your baddest, you put your baddest bitch up against her. Put your baddest. I want you. I, I dare you. Put your baddest up against her, and we are gonna see who gonna come out on top. And I'm pretty confident it's gonna be the girl doing the exclusive because she's just that girl. Everybody knows. I don't even have to get into it all. She's she's that girl. My last and only. My I only have two parfums de Marley fragrances. So the next one I have is Cassili or Cassily, whatever you wanna call her. She's sweet. She's sexy. She's cute. And um, she is not as popular as her sister, Delina Exclusive, but she should be because she's that girl as well. We love her, Kasili. And next up, let's move on to MFK. So MFK, I mean, you knew this was coming up. Every God, everybody has to have a bottle of Baccarat, girl. And you know what? I've had this bottle for probably five years. I like Baccarat, but I love Baccarat. I'm not even going to hold you. I love Baccarat. But I don't wear it as much as I probably should. Um, and it's probably because this Bur Burberry Her is a dupe for Baccarat. And she's a little bit sweeter. Baccarat to me is very much masculine. Or it's very much unisex. So um, if I want to be a little bit softer, a little bit sweeter, I typically will go for Burberry Her. But I just feel like everybody has to have Baccarat in their collection. And she will always be an excellent fragrance. Next up is her sister my only my up uh, my only other i think that's how you say it maybe not anyway <laughs> this is gentle fluidity gold by mfk and mason francis cartagena i absolutely love this i love this more than i love baccarat which is why she has been um she has a larger dent than baccarat she's a pretty girl um 
what a cake I'll call her vanilla cupcakes I think is what she calls her and that's exactly what she smells like she smells amazing and I really really wish that they would come out with a body lotion in gentle fluidity go because they have all the other fragrances except for this one and I don't understand and I feel away and I take that quite personally what's next let's move on to Kayali as we are wrapping up Kayali, my absolute favorite Kayali perfume of all time is going to be, of course, Vanilla 28. I love this girl. You can't tell me nothing about her. I know she don't last that long, but I love her and she mixes well with damn near everything. My next Kayali fragrance is going to be with the one that is very much body splash, but I still love her nonetheless. And this is Eden Juicy Apple 2801. She's that girl as well, but I understand why people say that she gives very much um, body splash. And then I guess we can move on to my baby Kayali's. I do have the lychee, the Eden Sparkling Lychee number 29. Love her, but again, she is slightly given body splash. These are just baby bottles of Vanilla 28 and Juicy um, and Eden Juicy Apple. So those are honorable mention. I wanted to get, the, I was going to get, I like this fragrance, but I'm not, I don't like her enough to get her in the full size bottle because again, the girl doesn't last very long. So moving forward, instead of getting like full size bottles of Kayali, I will likely just be getting these little 20, 25, $30 bottles of Kayali. What's next, girl? We are wrapping this thing up. So let's just talk about kind of like some ancillary fragrances. Y'all, the most, this ain't even nothing left. Ooh, and I just dropped the top. Nothing is even left in this bottle. I don't even know why I still have it right here. I mean, it's very much nothing. But I love this. This is Chocolate Musk, and I got this from Amazon. This is a El, uh, Al Harab, whatever. This is one of those um, Arab fragrances, Choc Choco Musk. It smells exactly what it sounds like. I love it and I need to buy a new one. And I have nothing empty other than her. So that just goes to show she's amazing. Another Arab fragrance that I have is this one by uh, Arabia. It's called, girl, don't even give me the line. It's supposed to be like a, a, a pineapple sort of fragrance. I got this off of Amazon as well. I've used it probably two or three times. It's very much strong and I don't love it, but I like the bottle next up is going to be my one and only okcha so this is okcha miss girl by paul with paul reacts i guess this is their collab this is basically if um tom ford lost cherry and baccarat rouge 540 had a baby to me i love this fragrance and i use this quite often but i don't get baccarat i get completely lost cherry which is fine because it is a like five percent of the price of a, like one tenth of the price of lost cherry so that worked out well for me love her and she oops and it lasts a long time as well so i was very pleased with that fragrance what else you guys that essentially kind of concludes the, the bulk of my fragrance collection i also have like i keep up here like some of the samples that i get so i had this amazing grace by philosophy never used that and um so yeah so i kind of just keep samples here so i can try them occasionally i also have a couple of body creams so this is about a freak by byredo which i love picked it up in paris as well and then i also have this amazing highly 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 recommended the lena body cream here by parfums de marley so anytime i wear the lena exclusive i definitely uh pair that with this delina body oil i mean body oh we can also talk about the babies so as far as the babies i have this uh valentino donna born in roma so that actually came in a gift set with the larger size bottle i also have my one and only floor i think is how you pronounce it this is missing person i love this and if you have been watching my vlogs for the past couple of weeks and you hear me talk about this you see the you see the dent girl you see the dent and in addition to that fragrance i also have the missing persons lotion which i love so much and then my other kind of baby is the apple brandy on the rocks by killian highly 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 recommended this is my second travel size bottle of this love this stuff and i'm just waiting on costco to put the full size bottle on sale because i will be adding that to my collection uh what else you guys that's pretty much it i do have a couple of body sprays over here so this is your brazilian crush 
uh, number 68, this is the Beige Floor by So De Janeiro, which is again a Baccarat dupe. You see there's, and this is the big bottle girl. She ain't got nothing left for real. What else is over here? I also have the matching body cream, which I absolutely love. So when I do, when I wear Baccarat or when I wear Burberry Her, I always layer it with this body cream because it's essentially a dupe. And then I also have this Fenty Butter Drop. This is the limited edition. This is the cinnamon one um, that came out like two Christmases ago. And then they, they dropped it again last Christmas. But I always... Yeah, so that is everything. The Butter Drop, um, I think, is the last thing I was showing y'all before I just got cut off. But, but yeah, so that is my fragrance collection. Like I said, it might seem like a bit much but it really isn't in the grand scheme of things and i actually want to add as you can see i have no bond i have no initio i have no um yeah those two in particular i don't have any anything from those houses so i definitely plan on adding some of those to my collection but overall i'm pretty happy with my collection and um I definitely, um, I'm a fragrance lover, girl. I like to smell good, and I like my house to smell good, and I like my body to smell good, and all that good stuff. So, if you have any of these fragrances, please comment down below. Let me know. Um, and thank you so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate y'all, and I will see you guys and you guys and dolls in the next video.